It was the longest running restaurant in McCall. In 1949, the Pinecrest opened, a small roadside restaurant in what was then a small mountain community. The Pinecrest became the Pancake House, and by the end of the last century, it had outgrown its humble beginnings and moved into a building fit for its reputation. That era ended yesterday, with the last pancake being served, the close sign put out for the final time. Brian Holmes and photojournalist Kevin Esslinger dropped in for one of the final breakfast shifts last Friday to hear what the Pancake House meant to its longtime owners and longtime customers. Heading into McCall, it's hard to miss the Pancake House. The Pancake House is an icon in McCall. It's the staple of McCall. And just a peek at the parking lot, Good morning. Or a look at the line inside. Just going to be about 15, 20 minutes. Is that all right? Yeah. Tells you not many have. Let's come on in here. Perhaps it's the plates. And your piggies in a blanket. Oh my goodness. Or rather, the size of them. It's big. From the platter size pancakes. Yes, right here. To the oversized cinnamon rolls. Yes. Tables. <laughs> aren't the only things filling up around here. Bonnie and George have just been absolutely amazing in running this place all these years. Both of those. Bonnie and George yeah. would be the Bertrams. Yeah. Who have owned the Pancake House since it was, well, an actual house. It's an old house that was built on ties. It was a building the Bertrams bought 43 years ago. Well, we moved here and had to buy us a self a job. <laughs> Those days, remembered by customers these days. And the women's bathroom was so cold in the winter time. It was never designed to take the beating we gave it. So they built another one. And in April of 2002, the Pancake House had a new 11,000 square foot home with six grills and a dining room to fit 200. White wheat or sourdough toast. Next spring would have been their 20th in this throwback looking lodge. The meal comes with the uh, bacon. Or but the pancake house won't even make it to this winter. It's been wonderful. Because the Bertrams Thank you. are going to finally retire. In our 70s now, it's time to be done. You know, we've been doing this for over 40 years, retired. <laughs> A day many could see coming. It doesn't make it any easier. So why not just let someone else run the restaurant? <laughs> George explains. Well, we tried for four years to sell it as a restaurant. And, and there weren't any takers. But just the building? Well, that sale closed the 1st of December. It's kind of a bummer, really. Which means the Pancake House will be closed and for good. I want to cry. A sad day for sure. I'm going to miss it. For the regulars. I'm really going to miss it. In the boat. For the Bertrams. Well, we're just going to kind of take it day at a time. And they're nearly 400 loyal employees they've had over the years. I don't think Bonnie and George understand what it's meant to everybody. Almost all of us have family that have worked here. They've worked here for so many years that they're like, you know, you, you get used to seeing them in the morning and then you won't see them anymore. But it will give Bonnie maybe something to look forward to. You know, the reality of it. We'll be sleeping in on Monday morning, <laughs> which I haven't done for years. Uh, George? No. Well, he won't miss coming to work either. Every day for 40 years is, I think I've come through the door enough. When you get to that point, you kind of realize that the days are numbered and there's still things you want to do in life. And now we're going to get a chance to do that, hopefully. So what now? I don't know. That's what we've been asking. Well, thank you. Oh, thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming for over the years. Yes. Thank you. What will McCall be like without the Pancake House? Probably going to find out here pretty soon. Thank you very much. And there were tears in her eyes. I think there's going to be a void. Bye bye, folks. Have a great day. Brian Holmes. They'll never replace this place. Idaho's News Channel 7. Well, the Bertrams say aside from sleeping in, they plan to spend some time traveling to see their family scattered across the country, something they say they've neglected a bit all these years. The Bertrams tell us that most of their employees have another job lined up since there are a lot of places looking to hire in McCall. There also there'll be an auction of all equipment from inside the Pancake House that is scheduled for December 17th and the 18th. While there is an official word on what the new owners plan to put there, we do know it will not be a restaurant.